Hey everyone, it's springtime. It's May 8th, I think it is, and I'm pretty excited because uh, this is the first day that I've come out and checked the woods to see how the plants are doing, and they're starting to pop up out of the ground, and that's pretty exciting. Um, you know, in the next few weeks, this is going to get better and better, but we've waited all winter for this to happen, and finally things are starting to happen out here with the plant life. Now I've got all these fiddleheads. These are ferns that are just popping up out of the ground. They're in this little tight coil and they will open up into a large fern eventually. But right now they're in a pretty cool little formation and they're artistic looking. So um, they're not easy to photograph obviously. You can see I'm down on my knees and um, a lot of people will say well that doesn't work for me and unfortunately if you can't get down and get back up then this is not something you'll be able to, to do. But uh, luckily I can still kind of get down and get back up so I'll, I'll be able to shoot these for maybe a, hopefully a few more years. Now, uh, nice thing about having the Vanguard tripod is I can get the legs out, get the center post extended out so that I can get the camera down low to the ground, which with a, a typical tripod you can't do. Now, I'm gonna use the live view on the back of the camera. So I've got a little button here I press on. Uh, you know, on my screen I can see what's coming through my lens so that I can frame it up and I can just look at it here and I can kind of move the camera around to get it in position. So I don't have to literally have to get down low enough to look through the viewfinder, so that does help. And then a lot of these have these articulating LCDs, you know, that'll pop out here so you can uh, change the view on them. Whoops, I just took a picture. All right, so I'm looking at the image on the back here, the, the subject that I'm going to have framed up here and it's a little bit dark in here so I'm going to add some light in here. Now I also instead of having to deal with the background behind it I just brought one of my backgrounds out and you can see here I've got a stake and my plant set up so that it's holding my background for me so that I don't have to you know hold it. Alright so um, got it framed up. Now I forgot to bring my elytra light out today. I always tell people you have a reminder list and, and read it before you go out to make sure you bring all the things you need. And I didn't, of course, like I always do. I forget to look at it. And I uh, forgot my elytra light. So I can't uh, use that to add a little bit of light in here. So I thought, well, my phone has a flashlight in it, right? So I'm going to just use the flashlight on my phone. And I'm just going to put it down below here because the top part, the light's overhead hitting the top part and lighting it up fine, but it's being shaded down below. So I'm just going to add a little bit of fill light down on the bottom here, and that works perfect. And then I can go ahead, I've got my self timer set up for two seconds, and uh, it's going to take the picture for me. And let's see, take a look at it, looks pretty good. Uh, I've got it, I had it all focused up already and everything. Uh, lighting looks good now and the background looks good. So I'm gonna scout out some of these other fiddleheads here. If I, if I see another one that I like, I'll set up and get down and, and do the same basic thing like you see here. One thing I forgot to mention is the f-stops that I'm using. Um, because there is a little bit of depth in here and I'm trying to get as parallel as I can to that subject, uh, but uh, I, I wanna make sure I get it all in focus. So I am shooting at an f-16 but I'll also shoot a 22 just to make sure if the 16 doesn't get everything in focus on the subject that the F22 for sure will. And uh, that, uh, that, that's really important to me. I always like to make sure I get enough depth of field to get my subject all in focus. All right, so I found another group of uh, fiddleheads and you can see these are much taller and so they, they're starting to open up and unfurl. And of course the formation is totally different than the first one that I shot. Um, so, so it's nice to get it at different stages as they kind of open up. And uh, if I get a chance and the weather cooperates, I might come back out here again uh, tomorrow or the next day and see how they progress and maybe shoot them again. So I've got my plant set up with my background again. And I'm just gonna photograph a couple of these different ones here that look interesting to me as far as the formation. Now, um, I've got my camera again set up for about f16 up to f22 and uh, between those two f-stops you know I should get plenty of depth of field and get it all in focus. Sorry about all the geese they're driving me nuts they're in here fighting with each other around here there's like swampy areas in here where they're they're fighting for territory I guess 
So um, again, I'm using my live view on the back to turn on my live view so I can see the image coming through here and I can get it framed up and I can get my focus and it works out real, real well using that live view. Um, so I'll just kind of wander a, a bit through here and look for more. Maybe I'll find some more unfurled a little bit different stages and uh, capture some more of these. These are pretty cool. Thank you.